Hi, my loves. Here is your cosmic weather report for the week ahead. Now, we've got really quite a dreamy week this week. We've not got loads of planetary activity, but what we do have is quite potent and quite purposeful. But what I want you to really feel into this week or really use this week as is a preparation week. This is our final full week now of winter and Pisces season. Next week on the 20th, we get into airy season, the spring equinox, we move into spring. So this is kind of now our final preparation moment as we begin to really shake off winter. So if we start to look in nature all around us now, nature is beginning to show signs of shaking off winter, of beginning to awaken and get ready for what's to come in spring. And so I want you to use this week to really make sure that you are doing the same, making sure that you are ready for what it is that you want to come spring, ready for what you want to grow in your life. Pisces season as the final sign of the zodiac, and we've got quite a bit of Pisces energy this week, is about endings and beginnings. So what is it in your life that needs to end so that something new can begin? What do you want to leave behind in this astrological year so you can prepare to move into something new and different and exciting in the new astrological year? So I want you to really see this week, it's going to be quite a a quiet week, a dreamy week, there could be some emotion, but again, that's going to be able to be used for something really powerful. But to use this week as a preparation to go inwards, to get quiet, to begin to prepare, to begin to feel into mm. what is it I want to start to awaken into? What is it I want to grow in my life in spring and summer? And do I have everything in place now for what I need? Do I have the right foundations within me? Is there anything still pulling me back in the past or holding me back that I really want to work on releasing and letting go of? Um, Remembering too that nature doesn't rush. So nature doesn't go from barren to bloom in one day. And sometimes we have this tendency to think that we have to suddenly rush out there into the world. We don't need to, but this week is that slow preparation preparing us to move back out there. So we begin the week on Monday with Venus moving into Pisces. Now, and this is going to set the tone for everything I've already talked about. Venus in Pisces is about dreaming. It's about imagination. It's about romancing life. So over the next week and the next little bit of time that Venus is in Pisces, I want you to really just feel into how can you develop a deeper love affair with your life? How can you romance your life? How can you fall more deeply in love with your life and everything that you have in your life? And if there are things in your life that you don't love, remember we've got the end of winter now, Pisces season, endings, beginnings. What needs to be shed, released and let go of in your life so that you can fall more deeply in love with your life. So I want you to really treat this week as like a love affair with life. So whatever you do, can you do it with romance, with deep feeling, with deep meaning? Can you just really find that element of falling a bit more deeply in love with yourself and your life, seeing it as one huge, beautiful love affair, which it is. If we can have a love affair with life, our life will take on so much more meaning and purpose in the long run. So that Venus moving to Pisces is going to help us to just feel the romance, the love, the dreaminess, the intuition. Our intuition, our inner knowing is going to be really, really strong over the coming weeks. So tapping into that to feel into what is it I really want? What is it I really need? What is it I really desire? What wants to be created and brought to life through me? What do I want to grow in my life? How could I fall more in love with my life? What would I need to do or bring in or manifest or create to be able to do that? And this is the week that we're we're almost visioning. So it's almost like if you were going to create a really beautiful garden, but first you'd sit there and you'd plan, I'm going to plant those in those flower beds and I'm going to plant a tree there and I'm going to put some fruit trees there and I'm going to grow some tomatoes here. And you'd, you'd kind of plan exactly what this perfect garden was going to look like. That's what this week is. This week is about the planning and the preparation so that we can then begin to plant those seeds of what it is we want to grow in our lives. So have a little bit of fun with this week, feel romance this week, feel a bit flirty this week, allow some love into your life this week. There may be emotions, as I mentioned, because we do have quite a bit of Pisces energy. Um, we're in the final little, bit, little bits of winter. So especially look out for Thursday. Thursday, we get the moon conjunct Uranus. Now, and this can often bring up 
depths of emotion. So any emotion that we've been kind of hiding from, avoiding, not dealing with, and particularly things come to the surface that are holding us back from growing into all that we can be, from growing what we want to grow in our life. And so what these emotions are there to show us is what does need ending and closing and releasing before we move into a new astrological year and a new cycle. Because with this new astrological year, it's going to be huge. It's going to be such big news. I mean, the eclipses that are going to come at the beginning of this cycle are just so, 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 so powerful. Um, and so, yeah, it's going to be a very, very, very big shift. So we are going to need this quieter week to prepare. You're going to be grateful for the preparation of this week when we begin to move into that momentum that's going to pull us forwards into spring and new beginnings. So really take this week. But if you are feeling the depths of your emotions, just pay attention to what they're telling you. And they're likely to be related to areas of your life that are not working, that haven't been working for a while, that aren't serving you, that aren't meant to move forward into a new cycle with you. And that are holding you back from growing. It's almost anything that's been stunting your growth. That's what's going to really come up for you this week from the emotional depth. So where either you've been stunting your own growth, getting in your own way, sabotaging yourself or anything else in your life that is preventing you from moving, almost like any relationships you've outgrown, anywhere now that you feel a bit stuck or caged in, the job you've outgrown, the friendship circles you've outgrown, anything in your life that you've outgrown that isn't now giving you the space to grow into more, that's what you're going to really feel. And as I say, it might come to a head around Thursday when the moon and Uranus meet, because that's when a whole big depth of emotions can come up and through. And then on Sunday, we get the first quarter moon in Gemini. Now, this is going to be a really beautiful first quarter moon because Gemini is all about the ideas, the inspiration, the information. Let's gather it all. Let's bring it all in. Let's connect. Let's make the connections that we need. Let's talk to the people that we need. Let's spread the information out there that we need. Let's gather the information in that we need. So that first quarter moon is the part of the lunar cycle where we begin to allow the growing light of the moon to illuminate where we need to be going. So we start to feel that urge to let ourselves be seen more and shine more and create what we want from the intentions we set at the new moon. And with the moon in Gemini, we're just going to find this ability to be able to communicate and gain the information and send the information and gather the information it's going to be like everything's just ready to be put out there and received in and on this same day we get the sun conjunct neptune now this is just going to be a, a dreamy dreamy day because the sun meeting neptune enables us to really access our deeper dreams our intuitive knowing our connection to oneness and the divine our real deep soul dreams and desires that want to be brought to life through us. So especially spring is on its way now and everything's growing. It's almost like a soul is going to be like, but you need to grow this. This is what wants to be brought to life through you. This is what you want to nourish and nurture and grow. And so we're going to find as the sun meets Neptune, we've just got this real ability to feel the bigger dream, what wants to be brought to life through us it's all I can keep giving you it's the, it's the only vision I keep getting of what wants to be brought into the world through you knowing that you're the only person that can bring these things to life otherwise they wouldn't be there in you so take some time on Sunday to really visualize imagine dream weave create and with that first quarter moon in gemini anything you are visualizing dreaming weaving you're going to find the information is there for it the connection is there for it. it's almost like you're going to send the dreams out there and then the first quarter moon in gemini is going to connect the dots it's going to link everything up to where it needs to be so a slightly quieter week planetary wise, but a very, very potent and powerful week for that preparation, for preparing for what comes the week after when we get the spring equinox. So use this week to fall in love with life, to romance life, to really feel into what wants to be brought to life through you, what needs to be ended, left behind, released, what's not coming into the new cycle with you. And then are you ready for everything it is that you want to create and grow in your life over spring and summer? And if not, 
How can you maybe use that first quarter moon in Gemini to bring in a little bit more of that information that you need? So enjoy this week. Remember, if there's emotion there, it's only ever there to tell you something. It's to give you a message. It's to show you where you're moving in the wrong direction, especially to show you where you're stunting your own growth. So pay attention if there are emotions. They're only there to help to set you free to be able to weave and flow with life so much more. Um, thank you all as well for all of your support with the release of the Goddess Path. I've literally, as I'm recording this, I've just been on um, the Chris Evans Breakfast Show and it was just such a beautiful morning. And so while I was in all that lovely energy, I thought I'd come on and record this for you all for the weekend. Um, but yeah, by the time you all watch this, the Goddess Path will be out there in the world available. Well, hopefully you all got the book so you'll be able to read it or you can order it. And I just, I'm honestly... Um, I could get emotional thinking about it, but I'm so grateful for all of your support and all of your lovely messages and everyone that's been like cheering me on from the sidelines and it's really been felt and appreciated. So thank you so much. I hope the goddess is in your life and I really hope that you love the book. I'm sending you so much love for the week ahead. I'll be back letting you know all about those spring equinox energies very, very soon. Um, and in the meantime, romance life this week. Fall in love with your life. How can you make your life one big love affair this week? That's the kind of energy I want you to move through the week with. Lots of love, my darlings. I'll see you soon.